Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. Retro Arch is now on the Amazon App Store. Let's get started. All right, to kick things off, yes, you heard me correctly. One of my favorite emulation solutions out there, RetroArch, it's officially on the Amazon App Store. This is really big news. So if you have an Amazon Fire TV or an Amazon Fire tablet or an older Amazon device like the Fire Stick, well, you can now put RetroArch on it easily and officially. This is huge for emulation. You can turn any of these devices now into an emulation powerhouse. I don't want to say powerhouse, maybe not powerhouse, but you can turn them into emulation devices, and that is amazing. Labretro made this announcement a couple of days ago. I'm a little bit late to the party on this one, but this is why I say it's huge for emulation. If we take a look at their announcement, they say as of this moment, RetroArch is available on the Google Play Store, the Amazon App Store, and on Steam. Now, we already knew it was available on the Play Store and on Steam, but at the same time here, if you look at the current situation, emulation is growing. It's getting support, it's growing and getting better. And that is a really big thing. Having such a huge emulation solution like RetroArch available for free and officially really only helps out the community here. More people are gonna see RetroArch, more people are gonna use RetroArch. Emulation is going to grow and get better. This also helps legitimize emulation. Now, whether or not you want to admit it, emulation is met with a negative view by a lot of different people. A lot of people think it's illegal, and for the most part, from my understanding here, again, I'm not a lawyer, this is not legal advice, uh, for the most part, emulation is perfectly legal. There are some questions around ROMs and also BIOS files and if any source code has been used from one of the big companies, but at the same time here, from a legality standpoint, emulation has been challenged in court and emulation has won. There's really nothing wrong with it. The big gaming companies might not like it, which is completely understandable as to why, but at the same time, there isn't a whole lot they can do about it. This makes retro gaming and game preservation and accessibility to gaming a whole heck of a lot better. If you've never used RetroArch before, I do recommend checking it out. It's 100% free. It's not the easiest program to use, I will admit that, but I do have you covered there. I've done a few videos on RetroArch setup, and I'm going to be doing a ton more in the future. I absolutely love this program. But anyways, that is all I've got for today. Let me know your thoughts on RetroArch being available on the Amazon App Store officially in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts on RetroArch in general in the comments below. If you have any questions you want me to do a video on about RetroArch, let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Thank you everyone, take care.